So we'd like to find some probabilities from some data. This would be called an experimental probability because we had data that we used to find out the information. Um, in this case, we have some data from an instructor as to how much enrollment they had in each of their classes. Um, when you're doing a, a um, probability problem, you always want to think about what are your possible outcomes and to list them all down. So the very first thing we're going to do is list the sample space for this experiment. Um, in this case, because we're looking at the type of classes the person's uh, um, teaching, then the sample space would actually be the listing of all the courses they teach. So Math 091, Math 121, Math 187, and Math 220. Once you have that, then it's easy to try to figure out some different probabilities. The first question is to find the probability the student is taking Math 187. So it's a good idea to rewrite this in a mathematical statement. So we're trying to find the probability of Math 187. So that's the event we're looking at out of this sample space. Looking up here, we see that we have 24, 35, 40, and 38 people that were in the classes. So we do need to know the total. So we'll first add those four numbers together, 24 plus 35 plus 40 plus 38. And that gives us a total of 137. So the probability that somebody was a student within this teacher's 187 class, well, there's 40 students in 187 out of the total of 137. So it would be 40 out of 137. It's best not to go ahead and um, simplify these or make them into decimals because now you actually know what frequencies you are dealing with and what total you were dealing with. So I prefer to just leave them as unreduced fractions. The next question is to find the probability that the student is taking Math 220. So again, write it in a mathematical statement first. Then go up to the top, Math 220 um, had 38 students in it. So the probability would be the 38 that were in that class out of the total of 137 students in the course. All right, so some more questions to ask. Um, list the event space for the event E, the student has taken a class higher than Math 121. So E is my event. So we're going to write an event space. That means we're going to list everything that they're taking above Math 121. So going back to our chart, let's look at all the classes. We're going to assume that a course that has a higher number is in fact higher than Math 121. So we see Math 187 and Math 220. So we'll write those two down as those are the events that make up that course. So a course could a student could be in Math 187 or a student could be in Math 220. Now we can answer the question, find the probability the student has taken a class higher than Math 121. So again, writing this in a mathematical statement, find the probability that the class is higher than Math 121. So that's the event we're looking at. And we know what those things are. So now let's go back to see how many people were there. So again, there were 40 students in 187, 38 students in 220. Those are the two that make up that event. So that's 40 plus 38 is 78 students. Another way you can also write this is say this is the probability of event E. And that was 78 students out of the total of 137. And that's how you find probabilities from actual frequency data.